We really take this opportunity to congratulate the Resident Doctor Association for coming out with this very good task of uh, increasing awareness on the Menstrual Hygiene Day, which is on 28th of May this year. I think this is very, very important in our country because despite having made major advances, there's still a big taboo which is attached to menstruation. In many parts of the country, women are not allowed to enter the kitchen or the, there is stigma at the workplace when it comes to the time when women have their normal physiological menstrual cycles. It's important for all of us, especially the men to really understand that this is something which is normal, it's physiological, and there should be no stigma as far as this is concerned. For us in the health care community, it's important for us to give this message because menstrual hygiene is important even to prevent number of diseases and as far as cancer is concerned. If a good menstrual hygiene, good menstrual health and women's health, including managing low hemoglobin is something which is very, very important as far as the important workforce for our country is concerned. It's been estimated that if we are able to get women to come aggressively into our workforce, India can become a major superpower. Therefore, I would really take this opportunity to appeal to everyone to come forward on this day and try and do their bit to improve women's health. My very best to the Resident Doctors Association and the entire AIMS family for this effort. Menstrual Hygiene Day is celebrated on 28th May each year. We need to know why 28th May is chosen as the Menstrual Hygiene Day. Because each menstrual cycle is of 28 days which lasts for 5 days. Today, on this occasion, we are going to take a pledge to break the stigma related to menstruation and to make menstruation a normal fact of life by 2030. I pledge to do my best to break the stigma and the taboo associated with menstruation whenever and wherever I can. I will support all women and girls in their periods at my workplace, at my family and all my friends and family. I will not use any uh, quoted language to address periods related issues. I won't shy in providing sanitary pads and other period products for my female family members and other female colleagues whenever and wherever they need it. The stigma stops with me. The stigma stops with us. Let's break the stigma together.